Impact Wrestling presents Sacrifice Live. Friday, March 24th on Impact Plus and Fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the design, Callahan! Ray Wall, as far as we know, this is step six in the initiation process into the design for Callahan, but you can see in the background the gaze of Khan, who is carrying a steel chair to the ring. Khan is ticked off, understandably, following no surrender. That's right, it was Callahan who cost Khan his match with Frankie Kazarian. Callahan's own words, accidentally, but of course, in the mind of Diener, it's time, as it always is, to continue to teach lessons here in Callahan's path towards being in the design. Callahan's actions directly leading to Khan's first pinfall loss as a part of the design to Frankie Kazarian at No Surrender. His opponent accompanied to the ring by Heath from Detroit, Michigan, the War Machine, Rhino! This is quite the test in front of Callahan as he continues to try and prove himself to Diener, Khan, and Angels within the design. And Rhino is someone who understands at least what Diener is all about in regards to the mental mind games. Once upon a time was underneath the control of Eric Young, a pilot by design, who was running with Diener and Joe Doring at the time. But the war machine is out to get a victory here tonight because I know Rhino does not care for what Callahan has been doing as of late. He's raised similar points to what Frankie Kazarian has. And like I said, there have been numerous members of the Impact Wrestling roster, people who have known Callahan for years and years, who have and offered up questions saying that this is not the Callahan they know, you know, the formerly known as Sammy Callahan. They don't understand the motives. Is it a ploy? Is this genuine? Rhino being one of those, and of course, as you alluded to, Rhino with a long history with this version of the design. Only a few more days. Be sure to catch all your favorite Oscar movies. HCNet Movies delivers Oscar-winning movies all day, every day, until March 12th. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, The Cider House Rules, and The Graduate are just a few of the titles airing this March on HDNet Movies. Also, a little extra emphasis on this matchup for Rhino. It was Callahan who eliminated him from the recent Golden Six Shooter Elimination matchup that Callahan was involved in. Ultimately, Rich Swan won that match, went on to no surrender to challenge Josh Alexander for the Impact World title. Of course, that match also was another one of the steps along the seven deadly steps. And man, if you're Diener at this, if you want to test Callahan, especially after that misstep at no surrender. Oh, to oh. the eyes. A battle with the war machine. That is one way to do it. This is a big mountain for Callahan to overcome. Callahan, let's say he can handle himself in singles competition, former Impact World Champion, but Rhino, former World Champion, NWA World Heavyweight Champion, here within Impact Wrestling, that is, and also a former ECW World Champion. Oh, oh God. and again, Callahan back to the ice. I mean, that's the desperation of Callahan, ooh, with something to prove to both himself and to Diener in the design here. And you gotta wonder, oh! Well, at first you gotta wonder if any fingers remain unbroken in the right hand of Rhino. But what, what would happen here if Callahan is not victorious against the War Machine? What does that mean for the seven deadly steps? Callahan rolls inside, resets the 10 count. Wants to get a victory here against Rhino to prove to the design whatever they're demanding of him. That's the thing in the, the previous steps. Oh, we've heard clear direction from Diener. This one, we're still waiting for an answer. Rhino rolls back inside, resets the 10. One would presuppose that the, the edict is clear. Go out there, get a victory against a very impressive opponent. Oh, prove what you're capable of. But as we know, Diener, there's a lot more to him in the design than meets the eye. Oh, now the oh. side rushing leg sweep. Rhino in for it. Callahan countered on the ramp. And make no mistake, a Russian leg sweep in that position, it does some damage to Callahan as well. He sensed Diener, Khan, and Angels were about to swarm in and get involved. Tensions are running high. Callahan versus Rhino continues here on Access TV. 
And we are back here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Rhino versus Callahan. Callahan continues this initiation process into the design. Rhino knows all too well what it's like to be mixed up with the likes of Diener. And of course, all that history with VBD. Now, in this version, it's oh. the design here. Look at the strength of Rhino. Oh! Gets the TKO. Here's the cover. Oh, Callahan got the right shoulder up in time. And that was a close one. Who knows what that would have meant for step six. Chance of Rhino from the crowd here inside Sam's Sound Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Rhino, oh, shoulder first into the middle turnbuckle. By the hair from behind. Callahan, cover. Rhino able to kick out. Callahan already has an uphill battle with an opponent the size, the girth, the strength of Rhino, but. Not only that, seems to have this magnetism everywhere he goes. People want to see the war machine. They want to see the gore, gore, gore. Diener sitting upon the steel chair that Khan brought to ringside before this matchup. Remember, it was Frankie Kazarian who defeated Khan at the No Surrender event a few weeks ago because of Callahan's involvement using a steel chair that some think was intended for Kazarian, but instead hit Khan square in the face, help Kazarian win the match. I mean, that was Callahan's oh! self-proclaimed defense. He was doing it to help Khan, to help the design, to do his part. But questions still remain with their, oh! the rest of the group. Belly to belly there by Rhino, who moments ago buried that shoulder right in the midsection of Callahan. And could it be time? Vegas wants it. Oh! oh! Was going for the gore. Callahan, close line. Great stop there from Callahan. To shut down the war machine, a kick out. And what does Callahan have to do to shut this one down? It's going to be no easy feat to get the war machine up. For a pile driver. Diener up to his feet, out of the chair. Khan has been glaring at Callahan ever since the design entered the impact zone. Well, here we go. We might get our answer to my question. Well, is it time for the Cactus Driver 97? Can Callahan get Rhino up for it? Yeah, maybe thinking wiser of oh. an alternative method here. Oh. The human brick wall that is Rhino. Oh. Oh, and Callahan biting Rhino. Absolutely twisted. And breaking before the officials count of five. Nearly got disqualified. What the? Angel just grabbed the foot of Cal Oh, oh God. and Khan. Payback after no surrender and a gore cover. Rhino beats Callahan. Here's your winner, the War Machine, Rhino. What just happened? I'm speechless, Tom. I, I find ourselves being left with more questions now than we had coming into this one already. And there's no surprise on the face of Diener. I mean, no, this was clearly, this was clearly the plan. What the message is here, though, is anybody's guess. What does this mean for Callahan's initiation process into the design?